WKBN Big 22. and welcome to the 2018 WKBN Big 22 Banquet. My name is Ryan Allison, Sports Director at WKBN-TV, and we are coming to you live tonight from the Maronite Center in Austintown, where we will honor 22 of the top high school football players in the Valley and also crown our 2018 Big 22 Ohio and Pennsylvania Player of the Year. Now, if you're unfamiliar at home with what the Big 22 is, it's one of the most prestigious awards in the state of Ohio when it comes to high school football. It has got some prestigious alumni. This is the 13th season that we have hosted the Big 22, but this is the first year that we have televised it live here at WKBN. And again, there are some esteemed alumni part of the Big 22, but we'd like to give you a brief look back at the history of the Big 22. It was a humble beginning in December of 2006 when 22 of the top players in the Mahoning Valley assembled at Seminaro's Banquet Hall in Niles. Our very first player of the year, Warren Harding tailback, Daniel Boom Heron. A great banquet, you know, um, a lot of great players, you know, top 22 players were here. It was nice to meet all the players and uh, it's just great things, you know. Right now I'm you know, training my body for the next level. Heron played the next four years at Ohio State and then five years in the NFL. The first of many Big 22 alumni to excel at the next level. Well, it's a great honor. I mean, being in a room with these 22 is an honor in itself. It's very special. Um, it's, it's hard to put it into words. When he called my name, I got up here. Got it. I was nervous. And our most recent winners are on the same path. The only player to ever win our Ohio Player of the Year back to back years. From Hubbard High School, LJ Scott. The Big 22 is very special, you know, uh, but a chance to win it back to back is a, is, a, is a big deal. He was the first and only freshman to ever make the Big 22. He's our Ohio Player of the Year from Warren Harding High School, Lynn Bowden. I mean, it's just like, it just rushed to me. It's like tears almost started falling on my eyes, but I had to remember it's still football. I can't show emotion. Our 2017 Ohio Player of the Year from Girard High School, Mark Wade. The 22 players in here, every single one deserves this award. It's, uh, I like to say, I'll take these 22 right here and I'll play any state. Well, coming up tonight, we will introduce you to our Big 22 Class of 2018 and, of course, crown our Big 22 Player of the Year. But first, a look back at the moments that made the 2018 season. It's our top plays. That's coming up next here on 27 WKBN. For over 45 years, Expert Pest Management has been keeping families like yours safe and comfortable from invading pests. And it looks like we will be protecting your property and health for years to come. Let our family take care of your family's pest control needs. We never miss. The Moransky Companies are proud sponsors of the Five Blocks of Granite and salute all area high school athletes throughout the year. You've heard the name, but who are the Curbstone Coaches? Organized by members of the local sports media, we work to preserve the memory of athletes who have brought distinction to the community since 1958. Curbstone Coaches, paying tribute to local athletes for 60 years. A degree will open up doors for promotional opportunities that makes that student more marketable in the workplace. What's great about the criminal justice program at Eastern Gateway is that we have, I believe, some of the top instructors they have the knowledge, the experience, the practical work that they lived it, they've breathed it, they've walked it, they know what to expect and they can pass that experience on to the students. Their real life experiences they bring into the classroom. 
The holidays are a time for giving, and WKBN wants to give you a chance to win $300 in gift cards just in time for the season. Go to WKBN.com and click on Holiday Events under Community for your chance to win. Plus, see great holiday gift ideas. You can also be entered for the grand prize, having your mortgage or rent paid for one year. Enter for your chance to win. WKBN and Home for the Holidays, brought to you by these sponsors. Watch First News on Fox Morning Edition, weekdays 7 to 9 a.m. When it comes to keeping your home and family safe from harmful pests and wildlife, you want a company you can trust. David Farrell at Structural Pest Management will analyze your situation and provide a solution. As much as you hate pests, you'll love David and his work. Call Structural Pest Management today. The WKBN Big 22 is sponsored by Eastern Gateway Community College. Big 22 banquets and of course our live broadcast here at the Maronite Center in Austintown. Chad Kraspinski joining me live now. And Chad, this was uh, the 2018 season, one for the record books. We had three teams reach the state championship game this year. And one, of course, bringing home a banner to hang on the gym wall. Yeah, a grand total of 16 weeks of high school football. We shot well over 200 football games. And there were plenty of moments that made all of us say wow yeah top plays and milestone moments here's a few that caught our attention that we'll remember most from the 2018 high school football season at number 10 boardman and austin town fitch going down to the wire in week nine falcons up one with two seconds left spartans trying to win it at the gun with a field goal but fitch comes up with a block Sealing up an emotional win against a former Steel Valley Conference ball. At number nine is one of our favorite moments from the season. Cardinal Mooney hosting St. Joseph's from Canada. The team from north of the border. No match for Cardinal senior lineman Kyle Jornigan, who was craving pancakes in the season opener, promptly planting the defender on his backside in dominating fashion. At number eight. McDonald visiting Springfield in a battle of two undefeated teams on our Game of the Week. And it was a double dose of Blue Devils defense that was the difference. Zach Gray comes up with the leaping interception that he took to the house for a touchdown. And then, late in the fourth quarter, McDonald's Dominic Shadle erased all doubt. Stepping up, they'll go for it all. And it's a diving interception! Hauling that one in for McDonald, it's Dominic Shadle! At number seven, Cardinal Mooney and Ursuline renewing one of the Valley's most heated rivalries. The Cardinals took control early on special teams with our big 22 winner Luke Fulton coming up big on high school football's biggest stage. Low line drive kick that is going to roll and roll and it's picked up and taken in for a touchdown. At number six, Boardman and Canfield facing off in week six in a clash of two state-ranked powers. The Spartans and Cardinals going down to the wire, tied at 14 late in the fourth. Canfield's Milan Clink scale changes that in the blink of an eye. Oh, Horo is thrilled as he threw it, and it's picked off! 10-5, touchdown! What a play! Milan Clink scale is the hero! Cardinals strike for six! Number five takes place at Rayan Stadium. Youngstown East playing host to Niles. The Golden Bears aerial attack on display. Zane Kyler with the deep ball to Marquan Heron. Check out the one-handed grab. Heron somehow holds on to it. Heron doing his best Odell Beckham impersonation. Number four, Salem renewing its rivalry with East Palestine. Quakers going to the bag of tricks with the double reverse. Nico Walter with a heave to the end zone, and Turner Johnson out jumps everyone in the stadium and makes this incredible grab for the touchdown, a catch that Quaker faithful won't soon forget. Number three, the spotlight shining on Springfield and McDonald in our WKBN Game of the Week. Tigers tight end Shane Einan putting on a show under the bright lights with one of the best catches that we've ever seen. One guard firing, end zone, one-handed grab! Iman has it! Touchdown! What a catch! That is one for the highlight reel, to say the least. At number two, the high-octane offense from Girard flexing its muscles, 
the Division IV state championship game against Wyoming. The familiar combination of Mark Wade and Nick Melito connect once again, this time in historic fashion, with a 95-yard touchdown pass that will go down in the record books as the longest in a state final in Ohio high school football history. At number one, a performance to remember in Hershey. Undefeated Farrell putting an exclamation point on a perfect season. Christian Lewis leading the way with 249 rushing yards and five touchdowns, helping the Steelers win the program's first state title in 22 years. Well, it should come as no surprise, the top plays usually come from the top players. And coming up after the break, we will meet some of them. We introduce you to our WKBN Big 22 next, right here on 27 WKBN. Your mornings are busy. WKBN 27 First News This Morning knows you don't have time to waste. We bring you in-depth major local news. The most accurate weather every 10 minutes. WKBN 27 First News This Morning, starting at 5 a.m. WKBN.com, number one for local news, and now your home for the holidays. See all your holiday events at WKBN.com. Just click on Community, sponsored by the Southern Park Mall. Imagine your life with this 65-inch 4K Philips Smart TV or this GE high-efficiency washer and dryer. Well, shop AaronsEasy.com and either one could be yours for just $99.99 a month and without worrying about your credit. You see, at Aaron's, we think good people deserve to have the brands they love, even if their credit is not the best. Like Susan, she takes care of these amazing dogs. She's the best. Her credit, not so much. But come on, who could say no to them, huh? <laughs> At Aaron's, we can approve people others won't for affordable lease to own plans. That's what we do. And you could choose from hundreds of options. Beautiful living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, mattress sets, computers, TVs, you name it, we have it. And that means you can have it too. Okay, are you sitting? At AaronsEasy.com, with most items, you can get started with as little as $25, even with free delivery and setup. And don't worry, there are no hidden fees and no long-term obligation. You can return any time. So what are you waiting for? Just pick out what you want at AaronsEasy.com without killing your savings and without any growing interest charges. It's lease to own, not credit. And forget stressful delays. It's Aaron's. We can approve people online in minutes. Even people others won't. So come on, you can get started for as little as $25. And right now, there's a special offer waiting for you when you shop AaronsEasy.com. The WKBN Big 22 is sponsored by Expert Pest Management. The 2018 Big 22 Banquet in our live broadcast from here at the Maronite Center in Austintown. You know, one of the great things about the Big 22 is that we have new faces at this banquet each and every year. Tonight, we have nine players that were at this banquet last Last year. But for the rest, we'd like to take a moment to explain to you just how difficult it is to make the Big 22. So how do you make the Big 22? Well, it's not up to this guy, or those guys, or this place. You make it, on the field. It starts in the preseason, where we nominate players. So do the coaches, and the media, and sometimes your grandma. And we keep adding to that list throughout the season to create a ballot. This year, that ballot had well over 100 deserving players on it. They were the best players from 55 schools across four counties. The Big 22 is the best of the best. So who decides? Well, the answer is a lot of people. All 55 head coaches in the Valley receive that ballot after the regular season and vote. So do 25 members of the local media that cover high school football. These are the coaches you played against, the sportscaster that called your game, and the writer that interviewed you after it. 80 people that love high school football vote for the Big 22. To put it in perspective, there are more qualified people voting for the Big 22 in our four counties than vote for the all-state awards across Ohio. To the victor go the spoils. It's no secret, the teams that win get the most attention. 
And our big 22 in five blocks of granite usually reflect that. 24 of the players from this year's class played on a winning team. 21 of those made the playoffs. And the entire valley was well represented. This year's class has players from big schools, small schools, public schools, private schools, Ohio, Pennsylvania, all four counties we cover. And we're once again proud of the results. And the players that make it should be proud of themselves. Our WKBN Big 22 Class of 2018. Well, let's get started and introduce you to that class of 2018, starting with one of our Big 22 veterans from Warren Harding High School, Kron Adams. Let's go, Well, you see the numbers on your screen. Kron had quite a season, over 1,700 yards rushing and 18 touchdowns. He could be playing football very soon in the Big Ten. He is verbally committed to Rutgers. The next member of our Big 22 from McDonald High School, Josh Selly. See the numbers for young Selly, 1,299 yards rushing, another 780 or 778 yards passing. The touchdown staggering, 31 touchdowns accounted for for Josh Selly this season. Moving on, the next member from McDonald High School and the other half of the killer C's from the Blue Devils and a Big 22 veteran, Alex Cintron. Hi, Mom. Love you. This is Grandma's. Alex was a 2,000 yard rusher this season and accounted for 34 total touchdowns. He also played on defense where he recorded 56 tackles and three interceptions and of course finished his season in the Division VI playoffs. The next member of our Big 22 from Canfield High School, Milan Klinkscale. Milan finished with nearly 1,200 yards rushing and 14 touchdowns. He also returned two interceptions for touchdowns, and the senior quarterback helped lead his Canfield team to the Division Three playoffs. Congratulations, yep. to you. Thank you. Pick six. Yes. Yes. From Hubbard High School, Davion Daniels.
Davion had quite a year, over 1,600 yards rushing, nearly 1,200 yards passing, and 41 total touchdowns. He's the first player in school history to rush and pass for over 1,000 yards each, and he's headed to the next level, signing his national letter of intent next Wednesday to Bowling Green. Cardinal Mooney High School, Luke Fulton. Luke, an absolute beast on defense, 98 tackles for the Cardinals in three sacks, 16 of those tackles for loss, and he is headed to the Big Ten as well. The University, or Michigan State University may be signing as early as next Wednesday. From Struthers High School, J.D. Hall. J.D. threw for over 2,000 yards this year, and that's amazing considering he didn't attempt a pass in nine different quarters this season. He accounted for 22 total touchdowns and 35 yards per punt. He's also a 4.0 student. And coming up after the break, we'll continue our Big 22 with a couple of players that finished their season in Hershey, Pennsylvania. That's next here on 27 WKVN. For over 45 years, Expert Pest Management has been keeping families like yours safe and comfortable from invading pests. And it looks like we will be protecting your property and health for years to come. Let our family take care of your family's pest control needs. We never miss. You've heard the name, but who are the Curbstone Coaches? Organized by members of the local sports media, we work to preserve the memory of athletes who have brought distinction to the community since 1958. Curbstone Coaches, paying tribute to local athletes for 60 years. Touch shows how we really feel. But does psoriasis ever get in the way? Embrace the chance of 100% clear skin with TALTS, the first and only treatment of its kind, offering people with moderate to severe psoriasis a chance at 100% clear skin. With TALTS, up to 90% of people quickly saw a significant improvement of their psoriasis plaques. Don't use if you're allergic to TALTS. Before starting, you should be checked for tuberculosis. TALTS may increase risk of infections and lower your ability to fight them. Tell your doctor if you have an infection, symptoms, or received a vaccine or plan to. Inflammatory bowel disease can happen with TALTS, including worsening of symptoms. Serious allergic reactions can occur. Ready for a chance at 100% clear skin? Ask your doctor about TALTS. The Moransky Companies are proud sponsors of the Five Blocks of Granite and salute all area high school athletes throughout the year. In this home, we believe. Live drive action cam on the road when dangerous weather strikes weekdays 7 to 9. When it comes to keeping your home and family safe from harmful pests and wildlife, you want a company you can trust. David Farrell at Structural Pest Management will analyze your situation and provide a solution. As much as you hate pests, you'll love David and his work. Call Structural Pest Management today. The WKBN Big 22 is sponsored by Eastern Gateway Community College. Welcome back to the WKBN Big 22 Banquet. We had six players in attendance tonight competing for a state championship this season, three of which will be hanging a banner on their gym wall very soon. We will continue to honor their work tonight and take a look at the next member of our Big 22 from Salem High School, Turner Johnson.
Turner had over 1,500 yards passing, 1,000 yards rushing, and 20 total touchdowns this season. From Farrell High School, Christian Lewis. The stats are impressive for Christian. Over 2,400 yards rushing, 38 touchdowns. He is now Farrell's all-time leading rusher, the first one ever. Over 2,000 yards rushing, a state champion, and a recruit for Albany. From Wilmington High School, Cameron Merritt. Cameron finished with over 1,700 yards rushing, over 330 yards receiving, and 30 total touchdowns, helping lead the Hounds to the Class AA state championship game. From Hubbard High School, Lucas Masora. Two hundred thirty eight total tackles this season, thirty six for loss, ten total touchdowns, and he will finish his high school career at Hubbard with five hundred and sixty five career tackles. From Boardman High School, Michael O'Hora. Michael racked up over 1,300 yards passing and 600 rushing at quarterback, 17 total touchdowns, and he is a two-time member of our Big 22. From West Middlesex High School, Clayton Parrish. Over 1,600 yards rushing this season. He is West Middlesex all time leading rusher with well over 4,000 yards rushing and 26 total touchdowns this season. From East Palestine High School, Parker Sherry. Parker had over 1,800 yards passing, 1,000 yards rushing, 33 total touchdowns. He has eight school records and over 11,000 total yards of offense. He's a 4.0 student and a three-time member of our Big 22. Well, stay tuned. We will check in with our reigning Ohio Player of the Year coming up next and introduce you to the rest of the Big 22 right here on 27 WKBN. For over 45 years, Expert Pest Management has been keeping families like yours safe and comfortable from invading pests. And it looks like we will be protecting your property and health for years to come. Let our family take care of your family's pest control needs. We never miss. 
If you were hurt in an accident, the clock is ticking. You need help fast. Call 1-800-HURT-NOW. At Kissling Nestacone Reddick, we help accident victims like this every day. We'll answer your questions and get working on your case immediately. Attorneys at KNR, they dealt with the insurance company. It was hassle-free for me, and it was a wonderful choice of a law firm. Hurt in a car? Call KNR. Call Kissling Nestico and Reddick at 1-800-HURT-NOW. One call does it all. Our program here at EGCC provides students with an associate's in pre-kindergarten care or teacher education and it provides them a pathway to be successful as they move on to their undergrad degree or, or whether or not they choose to serve in a, a local daycare or child care center. Graduates go on, they get their undergrad degree in teacher education, and their early childhood middle education, secondary education, they can become special education teachers and they're ultimately impacting the next generation of change makers. As the days get cold, you can still enjoy Mill Creek Metro Parks. Find the perfect holiday gift at the Shop in the Gardens. Or if you're hungry, come for lunch at Kravitz's Garden Cafe. All December, visit Fellows Riverside Gardens for the annual winter celebration. Trees, lights, and decorations transform the gardens into a sparkling winter wonderland. Plus, on Saturday nights, don't miss the outdoor light display. We're also collecting non-perishable food donations for the Second Harvest Food Bank. Learn more at MillCreekMetroParks.org. When it comes to keeping your home and family safe from harmful pests and wildlife, you want a company you can trust. David Farrell at Structural Pest Management will analyze your situation and provide a solution. As much as you hate pests, you'll love David and his work. Call Structural Pest Management today. The WKBN Big 22 is sponsored by Curbstone Coaches. Welcome back to the 2018 WKBN Big 22 Banquet. We've got eight more student athletes to introduce you to, two of which are no stranger to the Big 22. But we continue with Luke Snyder from Springfield High School. Let's go! Luke finished with over 1,300 yards rushing and 23 touchdowns. He also had 29 tackles and four for loss on defense. From LeBray High School, Tyler Stevens. Let's go, baby. It's time to shine right now. Let's go. We can love you. We can love you. One tackles, 16 for loss, and 22 pancake blocks. He also had 586 yards receiving and seven touchdowns, and he will be signing next week with Buffalo. From Farrell High School, Jordan Townsend. Jordan had quite a year, 71 receptions for 1,259 yards and 30 total touchdowns. He owns every school receiving record at Farrell, and his 58 career touchdowns is the most in District 10 history. Chad Kraspinski has more with Jordan Townsend. Jordan, it was less than a week ago that you were able to hoist that state championship trophy. How special was that moment for that Steeler group to come together and get that ultimate goal? Uh, it's a blessing, you know. We dreamed of that since we since we were young kids, and to make it finally happen is just, is just a dream come true. Congratulations once again, Ryan. Back to you. The next member of our Big 22 from Sharon High School, Lane Voidick.
Lane completed 215 passes this year for over 2,700 yards and 30 total touchdowns. And if you're doing the math at home, Lane is the only junior on the Big 22 this season. From Girard High School, Wade. You see the numbers, they are staggering. Over 4,300 yards passing this season, over 1,700 yards rushing, and 76 total touchdowns for Mark Wade, who has every school and county passing record there is, and also finished state runner-up. From Sharon High School, Jordan Wilson. Quite a season for Jordan, over 1,900 yards rushing and 27 total touchdowns. He's got over 5,000 yards rushing in his career, and he is a two-time District 10 champion. From LeBray High School, Kent Wolford. Kent finished with over 1,800 yards passing, 500 rushing, and 32 total touchdowns. From Farrell High School, Kai Wright. Come on. Another great season for Kai Wright, over 1,600 yards passing, another 700 rushing, 46 total touchdowns for Kai Wright, who will play his next football at the University of Pittsburgh. Well, that's a look at our Big 22 class of 2018, but we are far from done. Coming up after the break, we'll talk to the ones that do the dirty work. The boys up front are five blocks of granite. That's next, here on 27 WKBN. Get local weather on your phone with the Storm Team 27 app. Sponsored by Diane Sauer Chevrolet. You've heard the name, but who are the Curbstone Coaches? Organized by members of the local sports media, we work to preserve the memory of athletes who have brought distinction to the community since 1958. Curbstone Coaches, paying tribute to local athletes for 60 years. What puts the wow in Window World? Is it our buying power? With our 200 store network offering higher quality products for less. Or Window World's true lifetime warranty, covering installation, performance, even glass breakage. Or that we offer guaranteed bottom line pricing every day. Are you ready to be wowed? Get seven Energy Star Premium windows installed with a lifetime limited warranty for only $28.90. Not only do we stand behind our windows, we stand on them. I've been here 27 years. I've been to more fatal fires than I'd like to mention. This was a tough one. This was tough. New at 11, we take you inside the station where the first responders to Sunday's deadly house fire are returning to duty. We're human too. 
and that, was, that hit really hard. Tonight at 11, their emotional first-hand accounts and how they're coping with the tragedy. That's tonight on 27 First News. The excitement of the Harlem Globetrotters takes over the Cavelli Center on Friday, January 11th. WKVN wants to give you a VIP experience. Four great seats and a special meet and greet with the Globetrotters. Enter today. Just go to WKBN.com and click on contests under About Us, and you could be our VIP winner. All the fun and thrills of the Harlem Globetrotters live in Youngstown, Friday, January 11th. News and weather when you need it. Check WKBN.com. Road conditions, delays, and dangers. Weekdays on Fox from 7 to 9. Big 22 banquet in our live broadcast here at the Maronite Center in Austin Town. You know, one thing we noticed about the Big 22 when we started 13 years ago is that most of the winners were players that either threw, ran, or caught the ball. Well, we wanted to put an end to that and honor those that don't touch the ball that often. These are the linemen, the boys up front that rarely end up in the headlines or the highlights. We call them our five blocks of granite. And we'd like to start with a big 22 and five blocks of granite veteran from Girard High School, Jack Del Garbino. Jack had quite a year, 144 tackles and four sacks, 31 tackles for loss this season. He's a four-year starter that's played in a school record 47 games. As I mentioned, a two-time Five Blocks of Granite Award winner, and he will continue his college career under a wrestling scholarship at Princeton. From Youngstown East High School, Chris Fitzgerald. Chris had another big year, 81 tackles, 7 sacks, and 16 tackles for loss. He is a first-team All-American Conference player, four years running, and he will continue his college career right down the road playing football for Youngstown State. From Sharpsville High School, Jaquay Hubbard. Jaquay helped the Blue Devils. With 340 yards of offense and 36 and a half points per game this year, rivals ranked him the number one ranked lineman in the entire state of Pennsylvania. He's a two-time member of our five blocks of granite, and he will continue his college career at the University of Virginia. From Cardinal Mooney High School, Kyle Jornigan. Kyle finished with 51 pancake blocks this year, graded out at 93%, and he is headed to the Big Ten as well, moving on to Purdue. From Crestview High School, Dominic Perry. Dominic had 35 pancake blocks this year, 51 solo tackles, and 16 for loss. He is a state champion in shot put and is signed with Youngstown State to continue his athletic career as part of their track and field program. Well, we'd also like to take a moment to honor some of the coaches who had absolutely unforgettable seasons. And our friends at the Curbstone Coaches have generously donated $250 to each one of our Coach of the Year award winners to their booster club so they can take that home with them tonight. We start with Youngstown East and head coach Brian Merrow. Coach Merrill led the Golden Bears to seven wins, including two victories over state-ranked undefeated teams. East won the All-American Conference Red Tier title and made the playoffs for the first time since 1997. Chad Kraspinski has more with Coach Merrill. Coach, what a season it was. You kind of brought the, the city together, getting the Golden Bears program back on the map. How special was this campaign for you? It was real special. It was a blessing from God, man. I just thank God for, you know, the community support that we had this year, bringing guys in, inside the city and outside. It was real. It was a lot of fun. An epic playoff game at Stambaugh Stadium against Girard. A huge crowd, a great atmosphere. That's what Youngstown football is all about, isn't it? You had to bring that up, huh? <laughs> Mark Way, yeah, that was, uh, it was great. But, you know, if we fell short of our goal. But it was exciting, for, like I said, for the community. It was a lot of excitement there that night. Coach, congratulations on a great year. Best of luck moving forward. Thank you very much. Ryan, back to you.
Our next coach of the year from Girard High School, Pat Pearson. Coach Pearson won 13 games with the Indians this year and the All-American Conference Blue Tier Championship. They were the Division IV Regional Champs and the State Runner-Up. Chad has more with Coach Pearson. Coach, congratulations on a great run all the way to Canton in the state championship game. What made this group this year so special for the Indians? Yeah, just a special group, such a family atmosphere. Uh, just, just love our kids. I uh, appreciate everybody in the Valley kind of jumping on board with us and taking a ride with us and uh, just blessed to be a part of it. You're blessed with a pretty special quarterback as well and Mark Wade, but it's not just Mark, it's, it's all the other guys as well, all those skill position players. You're such a well-balanced group, uh, a very dangerous group offensively as well. Yeah, very unselfish group. Uh, a lot of superstars in their right, but you know they care more about the, the team goals and uh, care more about the guy next to them, and that just makes it even that much better. What did it mean when you ran out onto the turf in Canton to see all those folks from right here in the Valley supporting, cheering loudly on a, a really rainy, cold night in Canton. Yeah, it, it doesn't get any better than that. I mean, it was, you know, we made it to the last game in Ohio, uh, kept it going as long as we could, and to support you know, not only the Girard community, but the Valley was just something we'll never forget. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you, sir. Ryan? Our next Coach of the Year from Wilmington High School, Brandon Fillion. Coach Fillion, in his first year as a head coach, and what a debut it was, 13 wins for the Hounds and a District 10 title. Their only two losses came to Farrell and Southern Columbia, who were both state champions. Coach Fillion and the Hounds finished Class 2A state runner-up. Chad? Coach, you, you take over for a legendary coach in Coach Varelli, and in your first year on the job, you go to the state championship game. How special of a run was it for you at Wilmington this year? Well, it really felt surreal, Chad. It felt like a, a young kid who grew up in that community getting to live out a dream. It's, it's a credit first and foremost to our players. They bought in, they believed, the coaching staff, the school, and the community. It's a, it's a wonderful place to live and to coach football. Of course, you're well represented here. There are some guys that aren't here as well, but a very well-balanced group as well for you, be it up front and at the skill positions. What made this group for you so special? Well, I think the thing that made them so special was it started with the senior group. They believed that each of us needs all of us. They bought in. It was team before self, and it's a group I couldn't be more proud of. You were very emotional after the state championship game, and justifiably so, but obviously to do this here this season in a place where you grow up, how special did that make it? Well, I think that, that certainly added to it, you know, being a kid who grew up in that community who, you know, wore those, wore those pads and walked those halls, I think, adds to it. And having an 18-month-year-old daughter where my wife and I have roots, I think it's all a part of it. Coach, great run. Congratulations. Thanks, Chad. Final coach of the year from Farrell High School, Jared Samuels. Coach Samuels also won a District 10 championship and became the first Farrell football team to go a perfect 15-0. They were also the highest scoring team in Mercer County history this year with well over 700 total points. And of course, the only coach in our valley that can call himself a state champion this year. Coach, congratulations. How difficult has it been to get that big smile off of your face after last Thursday? This bows forever. It's been a special season. I'm um, so proud of my team, our coaching staff, and our community. And it was an emotional run for you personally. You talked a lot about it after the ball game, after you hoisted that trophy. Uh, tell us how special that was. Uh, my mother, she was a um, team uh, booster president. She was a mother to these children that we um, you know, coached. And uh, she's just been uh, my shining light the whole entire season, my best friend. And this was for her. To have so many good players on your team, three of which are here tonight. Uh, what do they mean to the Farrell Steelers program? They've been there since uh, their managers, uh, their best friends, their brothers, and um, they're just so unselfish, and they're ultimate team guys. They're great guys to coach. You know, in the era where you have guys that's uh, superstars or so-called superstars, you know, these guys are able to be coached up very hard. So I'm so, I'm so proud of them. Coach, we have so much talent in the room here from both Ohio and Western Pennsylvania. Uh, when you look at how much talent there is here from our region, what does that say about what the quality of football is where we live? It starts with the coaching. The coaching is excellent. Ohio and PA, we have so many great coaches, but also we have so many hardworking young people that are striving to be great. Coach, congratulations. Thank you so much. Ryan?
Thank you, Chad. Well, coming up after the break, we only have two trophies left, and they are reserved for the best of the best. Our Ohio and Pennsylvania Players of the Year will be announced right here next on 27 WKBN. The Moransky Companies are proud sponsors of the Five Blocks of Granite and salute all area high school athletes throughout the year. In this home, we know a good biscuit when we see one. And Pillsbury's new biscuit recipe bakes up crispier with a fluffier inside. New Pillsbury Grand Southern Home Style Biscuits are made just for biscuit lovers. Crispier outside, fluffier inside. I think our instructors here at Eastern Gateway, being that they come from a medical assisting background, they know what's going on currently in the field. I think we also have a very personal touch with our students. We have a cooperative learning type of environment where students interact with us on a one-on-one -on -one basis. When the students graduate from the program, they can sit for a national certification and become a certified medical assistant that is recognized in all 50 states. As the days get cold, you can still enjoy Mill Creek Metro Parks. Find the perfect holiday gift at the Shop in the Gardens. Or if you're hungry, come for lunch at Kravitz's Garden Cafe. All December, visit Fellows Riverside Gardens for the annual winter celebration. Trees, lights, and decorations transform the gardens into a sparkling winter wonderland. Plus, on Saturday nights, don't miss the outdoor light display. We're also collecting non-perishable food donations for the Second Harvest Food Bank. Learn more at MillCreekMetroParks.org. Winter weather impacts your life. Be prepared with WKBN and WKBN.com. Alerts on dangerous conditions, delays, and closings. With Storm Team 27, we are always tracking the latest storms to keep you informed. Visit WKBN.com for the most comprehensive list of closings and delays so you can plan your day. Sponsored by Dallas Hartman Attorneys at Law, your Northern Ohio Honda dealers, and Teal College. Road conditions, delays, and dangers. Weekdays on Fox from 7 to 9. The WKBN Big 22 is sponsored by Curbstone Coaches. Welcome back to the WKBN Big 22 Banquet. This is the moment we've all been waiting for to crown our Big 22 Player of the Year. And right now we will begin in Pennsylvania where past winners have not had just fantastic seasons. They have had record-breaking careers, and tonight's winner is no different. He's one of the most decorated players in Mercer County history and one of the most sought-after collegiate recruits in the state of Pennsylvania. He is a four-year starter that's played several positions on both sides of the ball, accounting for 72 touchdowns and well over 300 tackles in his high school football career. And he ended it as a state champion. Please welcome our WKBN Big 22 Pennsylvania Player of the Year from Farrell High School, Kai Wright. <laughs> Kai, congratulations. Amidst all of this talent, what does this moment mean like for you to accept this big trophy after a state championship less than a week out? Uh, it's just truly a blessing. Uh, thank the man upstairs for everything that he's put into my life, and I'm grateful for it. Obviously, you're taking your talents to the Division I college football ranks at the University of Pitt. What kind of football player is Pitt getting? Uh, they're, they're getting a football player who's going to come in and work hard. And I won't take anything for granted and just trying to earn my way onto the field next season. Head Coach Jared Samuels, what impresses you most about what this young man has been able to do in a Steelers uniform? He's been doing it for a long time since a young child. I always called him giant because he always rose to the occasion. Uh, great student, just a great person, but also an awesome teammate. Kai Wright, congratulations on being named our Pennsylvania Player of the Year. Yeah. Well, our Ohio Player of the Year is just as impressive. He is also a four-year starter that has shattered every school record, every county record, and now ranks fourth all-time in the state of Ohio for passing yards with over 11 Thousand. He has accounted for a staggering 185 touchdowns during his four-year career and finished it as a state runner-up. 
He is our reigning Ohio Player of the Year, and now a back-to-back -back winner from Girard High School, Mark Wade. Mark, congratulations. Back here again, back here taking home the big trophy. What does this moment mean to you to be named our WKBN Big 22 Ohio Player of the Year? It's an extreme honor, but um, this truly is a Girard Team Award. I wouldn't be able to do anything if it wasn't for my brothers on that football field. Um, I mean, Jack Del Garbino, the block of granite, he's a stud. He, uh, he protected me and kept me safe the whole season, along with the entire offensive line and all my receivers. I'm truly blessed to represent that community and represent Gerard. What did this magical run by the Indians mean to you? Uh, it meant a lot to me. It, uh, to see Gerard and the entire community come out and support us and uh, the entire Valley, the way they support us also, it uh, really opened up my eyes and um, made me realize that this Valley is super special. And um, the, with that said, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to attend uh, Youngstown State University where I'm going to continue my academic and athletic career. Congratulations on now becoming a future Penguin. How special a player is he, Coach? Uh, he's an unbelievable kid, the most unselfish kid ever. So proud of him. Love him. All right, congratulations, Mark Wade, Ohio Player of the Year. Ryan? Well, that's all the time we have in the official end of the 2018 season. From all of us at WKBN, have a great night, and we hope to see you next season.